feels good. Um, you know. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Crystal Seth. We're coming at you with our how to start duck hunting video. This is going to be the start of a series of our hunting adventures, experiences, experiences, the whole nine yards. And basically today we're going to run through our equipment, our, where we're going to be going, and stuff like that. Can I give you a little setup about, before we go hunting later this week for opening day till season, which is Saturday. Mm. Today's Monday. Mm. Whew, it's coming. <laughs> Alright, so let's jump right into it. Tell, tell me about your, your weapon of choice. I have, it's called an Escort 12 gauge pump. Pretty sure my dad bought it at the Circle K down the road after he got bought some gas for his truck. But I have one question. Does it sling lead? It slings some That's freaking lead. That's all that matters. Actually, we can't sling lead at ducks. Well, it not. has to be steel. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. We, we, oh, and we are 100% legal. We are. On okay, camera. Sometimes. Cushioning, like uh, memory foam. Like it on my shoulder. Feels good. Um, you know. Just a pump. Wonderful sound. What Thank about you. you? Now, now that since you ask, Abram, I have, I'm going to hit you in the head. I have a Benelli Montefeltro Super 90. He, is, he did not get hit in the circle, okay? <laughs> I don't even know. My dad's had it for years, and he's—it's mine now, and it's freaking dope. Duck, many of ducks, many of animals with this. It's very reliable. It's a semi-automatic. But these are our weapons, and these are what we're gonna be sky blasting some birdies with. Now, if we just want to move on over here, no. Hey, why don't you grab some decoys while I move these shotguns? All right. So. This is just a few of our decoys. I have probably around 200 decoys in my house. These are just our teal ones. I have more in my in my duck boat. Is what I call. We're it. gonna show that in a minute. <laughs> it's a sled slash boat slash. It can float in two centimeters of water. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> centimeters of water. Um. But yes, we use Texas rigs. I like to use the medium length ones. They're super long ones are the one to use. They are. Um, but yeah, they just keep them clean. They don't get tangled. And basically, here, I'm going to pull one of these off and kind of show yeah. how what a oh, decoy is. They're, they're all tangled. They're all tied together. This way, right one can just... So basically, when you have a decoy, you have the decoy, which floats. Right? Yep. And then, you have down here, there's a bunch of different ways to do it. Some people just, like... If you look on the bottom right here, there's a bunch of holes where you can either tie ropes, or as you see right there, there's a little tie rope with a weight on it. Or you have this little deal like the Texas rig you was talking about. And basically, when you throw it out in the water, if it's this deep, it'll hold still. Mm -hmm. Or if it's only that deep, the decoy, here, why don't you pull that extra in? Decoy, it will slide down to how deep it is and float. And this will float to the bottom as well. Yes. So that way, it kind of you don't have to have the exact length of rope yep. as it is deep in the water, so you can use them anywhere. I normally have snacks and such. In it. Well, okay, that's going to be in the hunt because snacks are the key to a successful hunt. All right, so we're going to start on the outside. I have some duck totes. This is actually my friend's. I need to give it back. Uh, this is mine. Hang a mini ducks on it. I've only filled it up about twice. Um, so go inside. Um, um, this... Abram, you care to explain a lighter? So I do. I can't. I, I can't explain. Uh, so I have this trick to where I get cancer. No. Yeah, those are called cigarettes. <laughs> no. Uh, if you get cork. And then you and you burn it and you rub the soot you on your face. Yeah. It comes out a lot easier than the greasy like paint stuff. Yeah, because if you've ever painted your face for duck hunting, it does not come off and it hurts your face after. Oh yeah, it's so bad. You're so sitting, greasy. Sitting in the shower, <sighs> it doesn't come out. But like that, the soot from the the doesn't get cool. Yeah, the cool. Yeah. 
uh, a knife, lighter, um, and this little and this little tin can thing. I have all my licenses and stuff. That's smart. Uh, it just stays in here because I bring this thing. This is actually the permit for the public land thing from last year. They'll probably have more in there. They do. Um, yeah, there's all that. And this, I have headlamp. A lot of shotgun shells. Probably a oh. hundred shotgun shells. And I have this. This is a choke bag. My shotgun. It has multiple chokes in it. I carry a turkey choke in case ducks are landing like 70 yards away. Oh I'll just God. pop them over the head with a turkey choke. I did it with your brother last year. It was pretty interesting. I bet. Um, oh, this bag is cool because it has this thing called the rapid reloader. What and, is uh, that? I'll show you. So. So right here, rapid reload. Rapid reload. It's on the bag. Oh, just stick straight your hand in there. Just grab shotgun. Just grab shit. That's pretty cool. Slide of right hand. This is shut. It's waterproof. Pop this thing open. Yeah, shit. Right in the middle of my bag. Shit. Nothing's worse than trying to throw it and trying to juggle shells. Trying Especially to get when your box. hands are cold. Dude. It's the worst. It is very bad. But yeah. That's it for my bag. Um, I think I might have some face paint in here. That's some miscellaneous stuff. Yeah. I have a bag. I don't know where it's at. I went duck hunting twice last year. We're, but we're about to grind out now that I'm home. We're going to get it done. Blue wing. This is a Primos. Blue wing, green wing, and cinnamon teal. Oh, for real, it says cinnamon teal. Oh, I know what cinnamon teal are. Oh, yeah. I don't know how to blow it, because I don't know how to blow duck claws. I'm just a hired gun. <laughs> I know how to call it, it's okay. Mr. Big Shot over here. Mr. Deck Hunter. Uh-uh. <laughs> that's not how you blow it. I'm sure Tyler was about to come in here and give us a lecture. Like, what are y'all doing? Oh, he was like, you know, I don't want to get that thing. <laughs> that's funny. And we're back. We're at the great public land. About to go check out this pond. Abe's behind the camera. Got our four-wheeler over there. We'll get that off in a minute. We're gonna sneak over here, try to check out this pond, see if we can't see some birds. We'll catch you there. you're gonna be oh boy was recording the whole time because who wears new balances to scout for ducks muck boots country all right off into the woods he has to stay here because it's too muddy he can't go through the water i'm gonna try to go through here and try to get to the pond that's over there Yeah, that's not happening. So, oh. I honestly thought I stopped recording. You didn't. You didn't. Okay. Thanks everybody for watching. 
this was a fun vlog to make, and we're just setting up, like we were talking earlier, setting up for the hunt. The hunt. That's going to make a cool I'm like, the hunt. <laughs> Don't you Sunday. And also, new upload schedule, Wednesdays and Sundays at 7. Remember that, okay? Key, put the bell on, right next to the little subscribe button. First you gotta hit that, and then you can hit the bell. Help a brother out, and just subscribe, put post notifications on. But once again, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video, and we will catch you in the next vlog. Deuces! Oh God.